Hey now, it's the Rob from 1061 KISS FM, another special edition of the Enhancement Talent. We have no Eric today. No Eric, we are very sad. But I do have, I, I still like calling you Gavin the Destroyer. For Gavin some the Destroyer, reason. call me Gavin the Destroyer, that is fine. Uh, Eric and I that. aren't going to be able to do Enhancement Talent together for a little while because our schedules are going to not mesh up very well today. Next week he's on vacation, the following week I'm on vacation, but uh, Eric and I will be back together soon. But I'm happy to have you here, Gavin. I, I'm happy to be here. It's like they're trying to bury the original talent, though. <laughs> We're trying to secretly uh, edge Eric out. I, we should, yeah, as you should. <laughs> so you let's should. let's talk about this here. We don't have very much time here, so let's get this done quickly. There's going to be a WWE pay-per-view on Sunday, Money in the Bank. Yes. Only four announced matches so far, so there's not a whole lot to talk about, but all, many different directions the show could go. There's, there's there's a lot, especially with like the all the ladder matches and things like that. So anything can really happen. They all have like eight people in them too, or seven, or however many are in those ladder matches. So it's tough to pick winners. Uh, let's start with the two easiest ones first. Uh, Paige and Naomi uh, will be fighting for the women's title. Do you have a thought on this one? Um, I think they're going to keep Paige. I think they're going to keep the belt on Paige. I think so too. Just because there's not a whole lot of excitement going on in that division right now, usually you need something to kind of, I think, initiate uh, yeah. some sort of title change. I thought they were going to take it off of her. They, they would have given it to Alicia Fox, who got like that huge push. If, if anyone was going to win the title, it'd be Alicia, I think, yeah. right now. But so, not Naomi, personally. Uh, also, the Usos will be defending their tag team championship against the, the, I don't know if I call them the new Wyatt family, but it's this new tag team of Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. I think that could go either way. I think this is the most toss-up match for me. I know the Usos just won the titles not that long ago, but the Wyatt family, I think they could. I, I'm going to predict the Wyatt family walks away with it. The Usos have done very little with their title run, in my opinion, and also the Wyatt family got some sort of kind of... Did you see Raw on Monday? Yes. It's kind of like a repackaging. It's, they've got new music, and to me, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see them walk away with the championship. So I'm going to predict a title change there. Anytime I predict a title change, though, I'm never sure. I'm never strong about it. Yeah. So that's that. Okay, two more matches, but they all have a whole lot going on in them. The first one, let's talk about the uh, the one for the briefcase, the one for the number one contendership. I'm going to give you the names of the people involved. You tell me who you think is going to walk away with okay. it. Bad News Barrett, Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler, Jack Swagger, Kofi Kingston, Rob Van Dam, and Seth Rollins. This is a toss-up because I, I I don't know. I can't see them giving Dolph Ziggler another briefcase. I agree. I, um, Kofi Kingston's just in the match to do a ladder spot. Agreed. Uh, I would hate. I would really hate for Del Rio to get it. I, I would. Or no, Del Rio's in the other one. Del Rio's in the main event. Um, yeah, we haven't, we haven't mentioned him. They could give it too many ladder matches, man. Too many ladder matches. Um, they could. Get, I would like to see it. Dean Ambrose in a perfect world, but I think Seth Rollins could walk away with the briefcase. Those are the two names I have written down. I think Dean Ambrose is going to win this one. And I think that uh, if it's not him, it's going to be Seth Rollins. But they're the only two people I think make any sense yeah. with that with that uh, number one contender briefcase. And then we've got one more match, and another whole big li li list of people here. Alberto Del Rio. This is for the main event. This is for the world heavyweight title. Alberto Del Rio, Bray Wyatt, Cesaro, John Cena, Kane, Randy Orton, Roman Reigns, and Sheamus. Who leaves with the belt? Um. I think Kane. I think Kane just to keep the authority storyline going. However, if that, that that's what I would be like in a perfect world. That way, when Brian comes back, he can try to recapture the belt from Kane. However, I have just this terrible feeling it's going to be LOL Cena wins, and they give John Cena the belt once again. You know, your Kane thing makes a lot of sense. I just can't see Kane with a title run right now. Uh, for the same reasons, I, I, I do think it will go back to the authority, and I think Randy Orton, for the same reasons you think Kane, I think he's more bankable and believable as champion, but, you know, from a storyline standpoint, and, you know, figuring that, uh, you know, Daniel Bryan's going to be back in time for a SummerSlam, mm -hmm. it makes a lot of sense that Kane would actually win that match. That would be so disappointing, I think, to have someone like Kane win that match. If I have to pick a, a silver medal in that match... I wouldn't be surprised to see Cena walk away with it either. Yeah. So those are our official predictions. I do want to thank you for hanging out with me. Hey, no problem. Any, fun. Anytime you're here, we'd love to talk I about will, wrestling. Do that. So uh, I am, of course, the Rod from 1061 Kiss FM. Gavin, you're from, you're from JLT. You're JLT, from GBF. GBF. Just a, a Town Square Media go to guy. I am. A true enhancement talent. <laughs> Two of them right here. Thank you so much for hanging out, and we'll be back uh, with more next week.